Dead Letter Circus are an alternative rock band from Brisbane in Australia. They are coming to the end of their UK tour and what better place to finish than right here in Portsmouth. So in the studio with me now are two of the band. So we've got, is it Kim and Luke? Correct, yes. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for coming in to see us, guys. I Thanks mean, I suppose the first question I've got to ask is, well, where did the name come from? Well, it's actually, uh, we've got a, it's a, we've got a pact not to talk about it until basically possibly the end. Maybe the last record we do, we'll reveal it to everyone. But um, so it's been like a secret for 10 years now. So. Fantastic. So it keeps your fans on a hook. It keeps them coming back, listening to your albums and, and listening to your songs, trying to maybe figure it out. Well, that, that emotion that you felt then where you just went, something profound is going on here. That's what we <laughs> hope to invoke in others. Yeah. Fantastic. And yeah. so, as we just said, you're coming near, near to the end of your tour. I mean, as a, how does touring in the UK compare to back home in Australia? Uh, it's different. I mean, we're on different levels um, from the two di uh, from d different countries. In Australia, you know, we're playing bigger venues. Um, here we're kind of starting starting again, you know. Um, so it, it, it's quite different for us, but it's there's this excitement when you go back to playing those small venues, you know what I mean? And having fans there for the first time, seeing you for the first time, um, mm -hmm. that's that's a very special moment. So we get to relive that here in the, in the UK again. And, and when, you, when you do start out, it's, a, it's such a blur at the start of, um, that you don't really retain it in a way. So it's kind of this re-appreciation of how awesome it is. Someone going, this is the first time I ever saw your band. And you go, I'm so glad you saw us now, not 10 years ago. Mm. <laughs> That's fantastic. And have you noticed a, a difference between the venues where you go, how enthusiastic the fans are, how sort of much they get involved? I mean, Portsmouth is known for having quite rowdy fans for any sort of, whether it be sport or music. So, I mean, have you noticed that difference? Um, definitely with Europe to um, the UK, you can see the massive culture gap of like, uh, like Germans, for example, they'll, you'll finish a song and they'll go, Rah! and then they go dead quiet. And not a single person will be speaking. In the first show when we were in um, Hamburg, we were like, <laughs> you know, I don't know if they like us, but uh, I don't know. It was just how they were just very polite people, and then um, yeah, the UK they're definitely quite rowdy all all of the way through, mm. and so I feel like Portsmouth the uh, expectation's been set very high by certain people, so I'm excited to see what you guys bring. Fantastic, and as I say, you've got certain expectations. I mean, what is your impression of the city so far? I mean, you were saying that you spotted the Spinnaker Tower on your way in, and yeah, oh, it, it looked um. It looked nice and kind of modern looking on the way in. Like a lot of, um, a lot of the UK is, it's, it's pretty mystically old and, you know, kind of grungy. You know, a lot of the places we've been, like Birmingham, for example, like it's, that looked like something out of a, you know, post-apocalypse kind of movie. Like, <laughs> it was in a good way. Like for us, like every, everything looked like a movie set. You know, where this, looked, um, this place looks a bit more modern maybe. Am I correct? Uh, no, no, so you were certainly hoping to get that way, but yeah. um, I mean, what's life been like on the road for you? I mean, have you been travelling in a tour bus with your support acts, or is it just in, in little cars? Everyone's in their own van. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're in a, um, a bus that sleeps, but well, it's got nine beds in it, so it's, um, there's, there's seven in our travelling party, there's two other support bands, and so we've all got our own cars. Um, unfortunately, the Italian contingent of this <laughs> tour has been having some horrendous car troubles. They've had to put a new engine in one of their... In, in their actual, in their, their, their tour car. Wow. Yeah. And um, so they've sort of been doing it a bit rough, the Italians, the poor guys, but um, yeah. we, we, we've been lucky, fingers crossed. Yeah. And it's, it's been a, um, I think part of our management sending us here to sort of begin a new territory mm -hmm. has been a, a nice little humbling experience as well. So, you know, from staying in hotels and a big tour bus to scaling it down and doing some driving ourselves and experiencing the, the other side of the road. Example, yeah, I, mean, I suppose that's a bit yeah, of a you get, I mean, you get used to a certain level of touring back home in, in Australia where, we're, like I said we're, before, we were, we're doing it a fair bit better back at home. So to come back, I mean, to come here to the UK or th throughout Europe and, and do it, sort of, I guess you'd call slumming it again, <laughs> um, it, yeah, it really gives you an appreciation for when we go back home and, and do it there to, you know, the level that we're at at home. Fantastic. I mean, and I do have to ask you just the, the hard, serious political question then. Mm. Marmite mm. or Vegemite, which was better? Well, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Promite guy back at home. Um, I'm not sure if you have Promite here <laughs> I've in the not UK. heard of it, but okay. it's... <laughs> but that's, that's... I, I, I just, I'm the only Australian that doesn't like Vegemite. There's got to be sorry. at least one. Yeah. So. <laughs> now, I've said, now I've said that loud, I don't know if I'm going to get to the border protection. I'll just be like, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, you're not coming in. No, yeah. not happening. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. And have you guys, as I said, apart from the rowdy fans and sort of the look of the city, I mean, is there anything you're really looking forward to to your performance in Portsmouth? 
Um, man, I just want to, the, the energy between the people is always what I'm sort of after. Like, I'm, I'm hoping for that rowdy, you know, a rowdy send-off from the UK. It's pretty much my desire for the night. Looking forward to get home. Yeah, you never really know what you're going to get at a, at a gig, and especially in a place that you've never been before, like Portsmouth, we've, we've never been here. Um, mm. You just don't know what to expect. It could be the show of your life. It's, um, you know... I'm, that, go, I'm going for that. Yeah, <laughs> let's do that because it's the end of the, of, of the tour, so it'd be, it'd be lovely to go out on a, on a big bang. Yeah, fantastic. Sure. Well, hopefully, say everything goes fantastic. I really hope that you have a great performance and you really enjoy your time here in Portsmouth. It's all the time we've got for now, guys, but thank you very much for coming in. Awesome. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks, man. Thank